Hey, welcome back everybody. Sign here again with uh, another episode on uh, Reek's Eternal's uh, server here. And that's Dragon's Nest. I'm in the Midnight Dimension, by the way, in case you couldn't tell. And, yeah, that is an Ice and Fire Dragon's Nest. The heck was... Oh, that's like his tail or something poking through. Oh, okay. Well, definitely grabbing that stuff. There's even portals down? Oh, there was a portal down here. Huh. Wow. This is a gigantic underground cave, by the way. This is this area is freaking huge. Nope. Don't care about that stuff. And I guess I you know if I want to go around I gotta poke my head in, huh? Alright. There we go. Alright, it's a fire dragon, and couldn't turn my fire charm on then. Alright, let's get some stuff put away here too. My inventory is uh it's it's rather full, right? That the sizzling sound is a portal, so I think that's the sound they make when they despawn. Here, should be able to get some of this stuff put away then. I was uh, working around my base when I cleaning things up, and I decided I wanted some materials from the uh, from the midnight. And I seem to have uh, across a dragon. So, what all do I have on this one? Light, smoke bomb, magic missile. Okay, this is my my very first wand. This is my apprentice wand. The one that, instead of leveling up the first one, I just, uh, kind of, sort of, you know, did the the cheap thing and I bought it from a wizard. So. Right. All right. Uh, yeah. Thing is, is I really... <laughs> really want to loot this place. Have some glob fungus hand. It's a tree that grows underground. I was also hunting Enderman down here. Hi. And uh, that's why I have subtitles turned on. Hey. I just realized it. I actually am pretty hurt. I fell in a pool on my asthma. And, uh, holy crap, that stuff's nasty. Like blazing pyrothium. Also, got some Novas over here now. There's one. Okay, that arrow bounced off of him. There we go. Hey, still there? Yep. Okay, lag spike. Yeah, we're not hanging out there then. I will take this opportunity though to turn the subtitles off now. Okay. Oh, I think my internet just died. Alright, yeah, we're back and exactly what happened. <laughs> but it was long enough. Oh wow. <laughs> I uh didn't squish. So yes, this is my house right now. <laughs> Dang, and now I'm hungry. Alright, so I should be able to get in here, at least grab my stuff and back up a little ways.
And I do have two more Ender Pearls on me, but they don't they don't do me a whole lot of good, you know, being on me. Uh, let's see, I need to re-equip that. Eh, close enough, right? And my fire bobble didn't even do crap on that one. Right between the eyes. Right between the eyes. <laughs> yeah. I think I've noticed one thing that's kind of bugging me about the dragons from... Oh yeah, he's cranky. Ice and fire. Is... Oh, that stone just reverted back to smooth stone. Uh, they don't have binocular vision. Like a predator should. I'm not really seeing damage numbers, which is a, a shame. Because I have uh, upgraded my bow skills quite a bit. Holy crap, he's loud. Uh, hostile's already down to three. Let's just do that. Do, 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 do. Although technically these things are wyverns anyway, they're not actual true dragons, so that's the nerd of me coming out. Uh, Western dragons, four limbs, plus two wings. Wyverns, two limbs, two wings. So, he seems to be stuck in trying to fly, which I am quite fine with, actually. This is like a, the cheesiest dragon kill ever, but I'm all good with it. Oh, jeez. He got me. He managed to pick me up. Oh, hi. Um, can you get off? me? Thank you. Oh, I have no more interpols left. Oh, that's a shame now, isn't it? He actually had me sandwiched between him and the wall. Oh, I got an enchanted key even. Okay, that's good news. Oops. Alright, now can I... Ah! No, no, no. Well, okay. Right. <laughs> Since I couldn't get back into my tunnel, now my fire charm's working, though. Working quite well, actually. Alright, um, yeah. Can I quit being on fire for a second, please? Thank you. Alright. Oh, well. Let's, uh... Do a little looting. That's not bad. I'll take those. I can strip the enchantments off later, so. Oh, iron and gold I'll take. And speed boost three. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, Dungeon Tactics is not great about their enchantments. Hi! Look away. And I appreciate you staring at me, even though this is your home. 
Um, iron and that's just protection three. Are you too fat for your own base? The downside is, I can only see how much health this thing has if I get close enough to get grabbed by it. God for infinity. What if the knockback two is having any effect on this thing? I think I'm close enough that it's AI. It's like screw breathing fire. I want to chomp him. Oh wow, he's uh getting closer. Or not. All right, can this thing just kindly die, please? This is a far cry from Enigmatica 2 where I could just bum rush a dragon and, and take it out with like no problems. I stopped to eat and he shut up. My bow is almost gone. Look at that. 72 durability left to it. Like, I stopped and he stopped. Or she. We're at 37 durability now, huh? is probably a good place to stop for now. Um, magic wand. <laughs> this is horrible, right? Oh, the thing's like just at the edge of range, too. Oh, 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 oh. Nope. <laughs> uh. Oh, oh, I saw that. I saw that. Dead. <laughs> nice. Uh. I saw it pop up on the Wayla. Oh, it was a male, though. Okay, well. No, no egg for sign. <laughs> I saw that pop up on Wayla, though. One hit point. I'm like, all right, yeah, no, we're, we're good. We're, we're, we're good now, right? 
Uh, magic protection two, protection three. Eh. Oh, yay. Don't tell me my internet just went down again. Yep, it did. Son of a... Before going up and going... Oh. Split that book up. <laughs> well, um, there's like three different ways to do that in this pack, actually. To split the books like that. Oh, really? Uh, the Unenchant Pylon from Cyclic can do it as well, and so can the Atomic Reconstructor. Those are just the ones I know of off the top of my head. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Speed Boost 3 Auto Smelt Mending Book. Oh. Freaking bobbles never reset right when I die. Uh, a shimmering iron helmet. Because, <laughs> yeah, that works, right? The only enchantment on it? Shimmer. But I've also found a stack and a half of gold in this place so far. Not to mention all the gold nuggets just laying around. Nice. Of course, it did take an entire uh, power three bow to put the damn thing down. Jeez. Oh, yeah, no, it's... Oh, sweet, I got a notch apple. Just realized the golden apple I picked up was a uh, was the good one. Nice. Oh yeah, I got two and a half stacks of dragon scales. Jeez, Not looting? Nope, no looting. Damn, what level was it? Uh, it was a stage five Fuck. with like thirty two hundred health on it. Jeez. Oh yeah, no, it it took that entire power three bow. I got it down. I had to stop using it at five durability. I switched over to a magic wand with freaking magic missile on it and almost drained that thing on top of it. And then it actually somehow got close to me. Because it was stuck on its lair for the longest time, but it somehow got close to me and I checked, looked at it as I was running away and it had one hit point left. I'm like, screw that. I ran in and I sorted it real quick. I'm like, nope, you're dead. <laughs> Yeah, I went to the midnight to get some materials to work on my house with. So I want some of the blocks, and I was underground getting stuff, and I heard a dragon war. I'm like, okay, we're good. We're doing this. <laughs> it's go time. But I got a bunch, I mean, I've got one of the, uh, the cyclic storage bags. 77 different types of items. I mean, the damn thing is full. So it's like... Oh yeah, no, it's uh, all sorts of stuff from in here. But something weird happens in a dragon's lair when it breathes fire. You know how it'll uh, like burn the blocks normally if it's like stone or whatever? Mm. Any of the charred blocks that catches fire reverts back into regular Minecraft stone. Really? Yeah, there's like regular stone all over the place now down here. It's really weird looking. Like the dragon slayer's got cancer or something, I don't know. <laughs> oh, that looks like a melanoma to me. I mean, it's strange looking. So what you working on right now? I have no idea. I'm just figuring out what I want to do next. Oh, well, you can always go to the midnight and apparently take down a dragon. I'm going to have to get way better ship first before I even do that. <laughs> I took it out with a set of dark armor. And a power three bow. Technically. I mean, I did throw a bunch of magic missiles at it, but if I'd had a backup bow or unbreaking on my bow, I would have been fine. There's one chest all the way up the top there. And I'm leaving most of the stuff in the Dragon's Lair behind right now. I just don't have a way to get it home. Uh, have you ever made an indexer from X2 Utilities? No. Okay. I've actually got one set up at my base right now. There we go. And of course. I'm like trying fancy stuff to get to this chest and open it up. It's just got bones in it. Like, really? Man, if this book is about to die. <laughs> is the sapphire one just as strong? No. 
Uh, it counts as an iron pick, but it has like three times the durability of an iron pick. Gotcha. So I'm starting to have the tinkers. Got it. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm using a dark pick now, honestly. And it's got the cool thing about that, though, Reek, is dark picks have a mining level of cobalt. Hmm. Yeah, I want that book. Uh, here we go. A book, chest plate. Oh, here's a chest I missed completely. All right, more gold. I am at just grabbing gold ingots from the chests. I have three and a half stacks right now of gold. Jeez. Oh yeah, no, it was uh, quite the windfall actually. Because I was actually kind of low on a few different things. Like gold. Right. The only thing I didn't find down here is enderpearls. Which... How many are you needing? Uh, I think I've got enough now. But there's a wireless remote for your uh, for the indexers you can make. But it requires um, a couple enderpearls to make it. So... But it's a true wireless anywhere thing. As long as your base is loaded, you're fine. Hmm. That's cool. Well, the main reason for that is it all works off of uh, grid power. Ah, gotcha. Yeah. Oh. All right. Ebonite. All right. Now, how the hell am I going to get back to the surface from here? TP yourself directly up 300 blocks. You know, I thought about it. I've got plenty of power on these boots. Just trying not to cheat if I can avoid it. Well, I'm on top of the dragon layer now. But why level 40? 41. Okay. Oh, there's such so many. I mean, here's diamond ore. There's emerald everywhere. Yeah, I'm definitely coming back to mine out this dragon's nest. Oh, it's one of the under, underground ones? Yeah, one of the big ones. Oh, gotcha. Oh, it was okay, a stage yeah. 5 dragon, so... The downside okay, is, yeah. it was a stage 5 male. So no egg. egg. But the males have better loot, I found out. Yeah, because we're just apparently a bunch of hoarders. <laughs> well, we got to impress the girls, right? Right. And that's like, you look at birds. You know, the male always builds a nest, and it's, you know... Like bowerbirds and whatnot. It's fancy. So I guess dragons are just really big birds. <laughs> Basically. Well, there's a book I read back, I mean, ages ago, where it uh, talked about, like, if dragons had uh, evolved roughly, you know, with dinosaurs. So I'm like, well, they're related to birds then, right? But, I mean, it, it, they were trying to scientifically explain all the different characteristics of dragons. Fire breathing, you know, the whole six limbs thing. All that. You know, everything else, vertebrates got four limbs. You know, basically arms and legs. Dragons have arms, legs, and wings. So, it's either that or they're just a really damn big insect. We've been drawing them wrong this whole damn time. That's funny. They're actually related to spiders. Oh, shit, I'm out. Yeah. All right. I'm underneath a vigilant forest. Ah, finally. Surface. Well, not surface, but dirt. Frickin I had to dig up to Y level. I'm at 84 now. I start at 41. Jeez. Yeah, no, the midnight's a, it's a very tall dimension. Well, not very tall, but tall enough, right? Hey, what's up, Ellie? Hey, Ellie. I don't know. I'm trying to figure out. Oh, oh damn it. Yeah. How, how are you guys? Uh, doing pretty good. I was just trying to eat and I had a rifter jump on me, but... <laughs> oh, here comes his buddy. Sounds like a good time, I guess. Nice. Yeah, that's why I pretty much immediately swore after you know Ellie joined the call. I'm like, do 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 Oh, God! <laughs> Pig green thing, right in my I face. I missed it. Oh. No. Either that or you're just so used to me swearing that it didn't even register that I did. Which doesn't say a no. whole lot for me, but... I had 
<laughs> Not wrong. I have rain stick. A rain stick? I thought you said a brain stick. <laughs> that's what Reek needs, apparently. Oh, that's called a Q-tip, yeah. That? A little bit, yeah. It just, it just looked like... <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Do we ever? Reek never does, that's for certain. I do. Yeah. I'm glad you know what you're doing, but nobody can ever figure out what the hell is Reek doing, so... Not you, Reek. <laughs> Hey! You're not supposed to laugh at that. Actually, you are, but you know. Right. I just found a massive cluster of the pink crystals. I just remembered what I was doing. What's that? Disco dancing? No. No. no I tried. I'm out. I'm I out. remember the Yoshi. The what? I have a Yoshi. I did hear you right. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I, it was just like, uh, how do I respond to this? Here, I will show. Oh, that's cool. Look at this. I, for a second there, I thought it had hair. <laughs> the hook. <laughs> oh, God. No. So All confirmed. Right, when Yoshis yeah, wear I wigs, they wear them on the end of the tail. What? Said when Yoshi's wear wigs, they wear them on the end of the tail. <laughs> I actually put a wig on a giraffe. No real giraffe. A fake giraffe. Obviously not a real giraffe. <laughs> well that could actually work. Like if if they don't like have hair. Huh. You just cover a whole giraffe in hair. Like wig hair. That it's like putting a toupee <laughs> on a Cheeto. <laughs> or Trump's hairpiece on a chihuahua. What? Okay, that that went too far. Over your head, or just? Oh, Yoshi fell. Uh oh. Or yeah, Yoshi. It on my head. Yoshi. Right. <gasps> Who did that? Rick did. Yoshi! Yoshi! Jeez. Who says size doesn't matter? Like, I got a long tree Okay. Oh, I got. I can't, I can't put it on my head. <laughs> just walk around nope. floating. I got this bro. <laughs> I hope you can do that. What door? F E R R E R O egg. That actually, from this side, looks actually pretty cool. I gotta lie. If you come in here and look. Yep, oh. I saw that, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty, pretty cool looking. Jeez, that's a tier 5? Oh my god. Hey, Reek. Here's the bow I took with. It had like five uses on it before I took on the dragon. Oh my god. That's how many arrows it took. This is what I'm eating. I'm trying to right, get the there's... name. And... There we go. All right. Yeah, I tore down my house completely. Yes, chocolate. All right. Uh, need to repair my bow. Let's see, there's power at the top. Man, this is interesting. Mm. There's different layers in Furro eggs. Oh, I believe it, yeah. Like the chocolate ones? Mm hmm. Well, I gotta take off for a bit, guys, so I'll be back on here in probably like an hour or so. Alright, let's see if I can get this set up here, though. Whoa, this moves. Green, no blue. Oh god. Shit. I'm what? flying. This is not gonna be good. What the heck? It just. 
Hmm. That's weird. Oh, at least it brings an unstable fall. Oh, good. You like that then, I guess, right? Let's try that again now. Reek, are you having problems on the midnight still? No. Clearly. <laughs> uh, yeah. Another quest done. I'm just trying to get out, all right? Leave me alone. There we go. Once I get out, and can empty out my stuff. Okay, you need a, there, a frame so tired. block, too, huh? Oh, my goodness. It's almost 1 a.m. Yep, no, it's... Yep. Uh... I'm getting ready to wrap There's up here. There's a creeper. And... There right. we go. All right, I think I've got something you might be interested in here, Zayla. Oh. Yep. I'm making my way towards you. I just had to eat something because I was my stomach is starting to grumble. There we go. Okay, is there kind of colored fruits out there? Because apparently it's not working, right? Uh, green, lime, and like blue or something. Ooh. <gasps> I keep getting lime, not green. Oh, I <sighs> love it. Oh my goodness, I love it. This yep. is so cool. You, you, unless you're looking for it, you won't be able to tell it's there. Yep, that's that was the plan. Blue, lime, and got there to screen. Jeez. Hidden doors. Blue. You're missing blue? No, I dry green. Mm hmm. I. Come on, give me blue. I ate blue. Nothing happened. You just have to have all three in your inventory at the same time. It didn't give me the quest. Green, lime, and blue. Um, I've got. Do you have all three on you right now, Reed? Oh, there, there we go. Now, now it shows up. Oh, stupid thing. Oh, I love it. I love it too. Whenever Reed gets befuddled. <laughs> yeah, that too. <laughs> But I love the door. It, you can see it, but just it's you have fair. to be looking for it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, ah. I can't find the damn portal out. Okay, Reek. When you do, I want you to come see if you can find the door. I got a peacock fan. Yeah. I got a, a dragon skull to show off here too, Azela. Hey, there we go. That worked. Hi, Zel. Ah, it's a blue creeper. Yeah, that's the one you want to stay away from. Oh, sh it's like right there, ish. Where did it go? I see him. Hi. Um, can you guys up there hold still, please? Because Reek. <laughs> oh, 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 crap. At least it didn't blow up any blocks. Back up, you, you jerk. <laughs> you just got me detonated. Who does stuff. stuff? Oh, wait, you can't. Zayla. What on earth is that? Dragon Skull. Oh, God, that's even bigger. Oh, yeah, I know. Oh, it's a head. Yep. Yeah, it's a dragon skull. Whoa. Stage five. I, I had an so. issue with a dragon earlier. So I, uh, I kind of took care of it. Whoa. Okay. Reek, can you find the door on the tree? The door on the tree? Yes. I did already, but I had an idea what I was looking for. Quick, block him in. It kind of defeats the purpose when it literally just says custom door. Aw, oh, dang it. <laughs> yeah, the whale does kind of show it. A for effort, though. Ow! That was a fish. I'll, next time it's a sword. Next time I'll have you do it in F1 mode. Oh! Oh, oh crap. You have a f Whoa, let me see the fan. 
Apparently, I'm picking up daisies now. <laughs> Apparently, that fan breaks uh, things. Don't wear out what on the dirt. Hey, Reek, I've got a diamond anvil, so don't worry. What? <laughs> yeah. You can fly back. with it. Give me my fan back. Wait, how? Oh, what? I, uh, uh, ow. Yeah, character, you yeah. will take fall damage. Okay. I do what now? Sorry. I have a diamond anvil this way. Come on. I have a crystalotus. Crystalotus. It's a flower. Okay. I've got here. Oh, is that the thing that's by your your uh, door? It's uh, the thing in the water by my house up here. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. The blue flowery thing. Yep. Yeah. All right, Rick. See where I'm at? Mm -hmm. Woo! Elevator. I, I lit up it with torches. Oh, the walkway? Yeah, no, that helps. <laughs> Especially if we go back and forth in the middle of the night now. <laughs> Are you trying to be a smart ass there, Reek? <laughs> I think so. I was trying to see if it would work. Mm -hmm. Oh, crap. <laughs> I it went on the bed. No fall damage. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Okay, I should go to bed because it's almost one in the morning. Oh, that's cool. That's my asthma up there. Gotcha. It is and really pretty. This over here, Reek, is a powered diamond anvil. Oh, nice. It's in the pack. Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's a cheap recipe, too. Also, hey, Reek, before you go. Yeah. Ooh. Cool. Now you can open that golden skull chest over there at your house. I got two of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is the crystal lotus here, Reek. Oh. Yeah, okay. You can actually stand on it. Ooh. I know where I'm putting that. Yeah, uh, they're supposed to spawn in the midnight, but I have not seen any. So I don't think they do. Okay, so as long as you have your warp stone, it doesn't cost experience. Okay. That's weird. You know Seth Holmes in this pack too, right? Oh, did not. Okay, left or right? Which one should I do? And then I'm calling it there. You mean left or right? Left skull, right skull. I got two gold skulls. Oh, give me a second. Left. Do says left as well. <laughs> okay, well, there we go, left. You have to shift right click on the lock itself, Freak. There you go. Oh, actually. I'll take the key hey, back. Hey. The same key I just gave you, so. What By the way, the... what did you get? Cool. I got uh, five diamonds, six emeralds, two blaze powders, and a two gold locks, and another gold key. Besides the one that I was saying, give me. Cool. So, hey, Reek, these red locks here? Mm -hmm. Ruby locks. Mm -hmm. Check uses on your gold key. I can make a ruby key. Those are the only keys you can make is the ruby and sapphire keys, so. Oh, I have sapphire at home. Gotta be a special sapphire, though. Yeah. The giant, like, square-looking one instead of the little round ones. Oh. Oh. And suddenly, dragon. <laughs> That's cool. Ch ch check it out. It only works on your screen for whatever reason. <laughs> like whenever I open it, I see it. But whenever you're opening it, only you see it. So have you tried using this midnight furnace yet, Reek? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I wonder what the super chicken does or whatever it's called. It's probably that. Noise. Yeah, there's actually a legendary chicken. So oh, it like one shots uh, almost anything. Yeah, I used it with sticks, but didn't do anything. Cook stuff. Why? Well, I mean, did you look at what it looked like whenever it was cooking? Oh, uh, no. Okay. Also, let me do that. Do what? I shift right clicked it. I put levels into furnacing. Any of the furnace stuff? 
it now it says it's registered to you. Yep, I just unbound it for me. Now you can do it to yourself if you have you put any points oh. in that yet? Cool. Machine unbound, machine unbound. Yeah. Have you put any points in that in your uh, reskillable yet? Uh, that would be a no. The tab thing or the book? That is the book slash B thing. Um, no. Okay. Then unbind it. Oh, there we yes, go. Is there a cobblestone generator in this bag? Uh, there's a couple of them. What are they called? Uh, one is a transfer node from X Utilities. There's the Igneous Extruder. You kind of have to old school. It's not a single block anymore. Oh, yeah, like, so Igneous Extruder. Yeah, I forgot about that one. Uh, let's see. What else is there? Uh, Nuclear Craft actually has its cobblestone generator in here as well. Which is actually just called cobblestone generator. But it requires getting into Nuclear Craft a little bit. Oh, of course not. It's Dungeons 2. You can't make that stuff. Um, yeah, that's pretty much the only options I know of off the top of my head right now. Uh -huh. But, uh, hey, Rick, try cooking something with it now that I bound it to me, though. Look how much Which, faster that is. It's done. That's not oh, too geez. terrible. You just need graphite, lead, Gotcha. Tank. That's yeah. how that works. But graphite, so you have to make a manufactory to get. Oh. Or grow it. Yeah, but you All have right, to guys. make it first before I'm you can I'm off here. Thank you guys for coming out. Thanks, do for the biddies, and I will catch you in the discords, and hopefully tomorrow we will see you on the server. Mm -hmm. And until then, don't forget, keep it real, and good night. <laughs> bye, stream. Bye-bye. <laughs> God. Bye-bye. I think I caught that. <laughs> <laughs> boo boy, everybody. Oh, this looks purple. What does? Oh. Right. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to punch you. Yeah, it... <laughs> treat. Don't worry, we all want to punch Reek. There you guys. I will catch you on the flip flop. Yeah, I need to go to bed too. I do. I do now have a sleeping mask, so that maybe I can sleep in past eight. That might be a good idea. Those things are awesome. Cause yeah, the picture of my room that I put in last night mm -hmm. is how bright my room is without the light on at eight o'clock in the morning. Jeez. Yeah. It's because I have a giant bay window floor to ceiling. Mm. Well, basically floor, floor to ceiling. Maybe she just sleep in the closet. The closet is currently occupied by boxes. <coughs> oh, okay. <laughs> you didn't know where you were going with that. <laughs> it's occupied by the the, the secret person. <laughs> Harry Potter. <laughs> oh, did I ever show you my storage room yet, Reek? Mm -hmm. Go TP over here, real quick to me. I step backwards. <laughs> There's a little bit of a ledge right there. So, have you ever used an indexer before, Reek? Mm -mm. It's pretty easy. I can actually show you how it works. But yeah. Small drawer system so far, and then a bunch of crates. Mm -hmm. Oh, Ellie just hopped on and then hopped off. But to hook up an indexer, it's easy. God, that dragon head. <laughs> Freaking huge, I know, right? So you see the transfer node on the bottom side of the indexer? Mm -hmm. That's all you need to do. Transfer well, node, and then run pipes to the inventories you want it to interface with. Nice. That's it. Done. And if you request an item oh. out of here... You just click once on the item, and it'll give you the item. Shift click, it'll give you a full stack. But you got to wait for the transfer node to pull it in. Right. So it does take gotcha. a little bit to show up, but it takes no power. It takes a little bit of grid. You know, it takes eight grid power. Gotcha. 
and that's it. Hey. Yeah, so I highly recommend you make one. No. It sure beats sorting yeah. everything out. Oh, that's the truth. Cool. You know, you literally just know. saved the world like 30 seconds ago, right? Yeah, well, I did a couple things in my base before I teleported over to you. Oh, yeah. I'm weird like that. Yes, I know. Did you just log out at my base? On on the hill. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> Alright, night guys. Night, Rick. Are you going to trap his spot where you, he locked Yep, out? I'm doing it right now. <laughs> I knew it. I didn't want to say it. I wanted to wait till he left to ask. Oh, yep. No, I've got a basically prettier magma blocks that I'm putting down where he logged out. So as soon as he logs in, he's going to just start taking a little bit of damage. Not going to be enough to kill him, but it'll be enough to spook him a little bit. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, that was a little snippet of uh, one of Reek's streams where kind of happened while I was building my house. Still actually working on it, though. And I need to figure out exactly how I want to work all of this. I mean, this thing's working great. It's a little little laggy whenever it's actually bringing items in. But other than that, it's not terrible. Are my boots, like, done yet? Or what? Yeah, they are. Okay. So, yeah. Rick and I ran into a Cyclops in the midnight, and turns out when they eat you, they break your armor. Just loads of fun, right? But yeah, liquid miasma up here. I got quite clear glass holding it back. On the outside, it's all held in place by douche room trap doors. Which I thought just kind of looked kind of, you know, kind of cool there. And then we got the veered shroom planks here. We got some nightstone. Trench stone bricks at the bottom. Dark willow inside. Archaic, uh, archaic glass panes. Got some rue rock. Just because, actually. Had it on me, put it in there, and it just does give a little splash of color. Which, I'm not sure, it might be a little too much for everything else around here, but... but yeah, except for the glass, everything here, you know, the quite clear glass, this is all from the midnight dimension. Kind of cool, I like it. And let's see. Got some ebonite so I could do things with that. I wonder what all I have here that would work. Like, okay, trench stone. I make walls with that, huh? Let's do that, I think. That's right. And actually, if I do... There's, because there's a brick, yeah. And then the bricks make walls, too. That actually might be a better option. That's going to be a little more expensive. That's... That's eight trench stone, right? Right there. That'll only make two of the actual bricks. Let's just get a stack of that coming in. I'm just kind of emptying my bag out a little bit too. But nothing else. I should probably go through a little bit of quests right now. Um, Book of Shadows. Hey, I got some cold ore. That's not bad. And this is my... I've got two points of return. I can shift click things into here to return them to my system. Or I can just also put them into there. That actually holds more. And once I quit using this thing as a repository for a few different things, it probably shouldn't be. Like, you know, the capacitors and some machines and whatnot. This is going to be my mining bag. And I can go there for now. And so I'll just be able to, to merge it into there, you know, do the, the punch thing with it. And, uh, yeah. All right, so I got six of those guys now. Best thing about this is it comes with a built-in crafting table. Freaking awesome. All right. Oop. Yeah, I think that'll work. There we go. I'm going to have a bit of a raised canopy up there, I think. But 
I'll take care of that off camera here. Uh, let's go ahead and go through here. Exploration. Kill the siren. Also managed to kill an ice and fire troll with Reek, but he got the kill for it and not me. Same with the Cyclops, actually, I think. I don't know if either of us got that one, because I don't think that's unlocked yet. But Cyclops, when they bite you, actually uh, destroy armor. Yeah, that was that was great. You know, it's a wonderful thing to find out. Uh, yeah, no, looks like Cyclops isn't unlocked yet. But Sirens, money... I get a loot reward of Water Wheel. Okay, cool. A Siren Tear. That's awesome, actually. And Gold Ingots. Now, Siren Tears. They can go into a Siren Flute. Makes targets fall in love for 10 seconds. Mobs in love will not be able to attack. I need to get some more stuff and things going for that, but it'll be awesome once I get it going. And then Bosses. I killed that Fire Dragon, right? So... XP, barbecue chicken pizza, and some money. Ruthless winged reptile that travels far and wide to raise villages with its fiery breath. Also, there's a Hydra. Yeah. You know where that one's at. It's right over there. I need to actually go over there and start clearing out the area. But I used a rod of elevation while I was caving, and I popped up actually into his lair. That was not a fun time. I mean, I survived. I managed to get out of there, but it kind of sucked for a while. Uh, Salamander, yeah. This it counted the juvenile, but I went ahead and claimed it anyway, because thing, right? And then introduction, I made the door factory, which I made a door for Azela with that. Uh, the rusty hatch, the two by two door for your floor. Uh, glowing mushrooms. They spread like regular mushrooms, but they don't, they're do not they not reliant on light level. So it does make it a little bit easier. It gives me an anti-radiation strong box, though. Get some radiation shielding, some rat away, golden carrot, radiation badge, and a radiation scrubber. Which, the scrubber requires power, right? Yeah, it requires 25 RF tick to run, right? Uh, moving a maximum of 12.5% of the radiation in its chunk. Don't have a whole lot of radiation right now, so I'm not going to worry too much about that one. I'm going to put the, that stuff away, too. And, hey, golden carrots removed four. Make it four rads, huh? Awesome. So, Nagrolite only goes into tools, really. And looks like pressure plates and blocks. Let's go ahead and make the block, I guess, right? Why did I end up with five of those in there? That's weird. And we'll just put that away, right? Like, what do the blocks look like? I might do my front step out of these instead. Yeah, that'll work. I like it. Nice and expensive enough that I don't have to worry too much about it, right? Uh, Lazy River, make a boat. Yay. And then the compass, which I've already had for a while. But yeah, let's go ahead and put the, the cheap knockoff glasses away, too. And Dragon Skull. Right there. That is a Stage 5 Dragon Head. There you go. Uh, you, you just have to right-click the skull onto a solid block, and it, it does that. And you actually have to find the... There it is. The sweet spot, the actual hitbox for the skull <laughs> to, to get it to come off there. And that takes up a good portion of my house, but it does go kind of cool, doesn't it? I was actually kind of thinking about up. Oh. Alright, so. Maybe, like, mounting it down here, facing out, right? Because, I mean, it's pretty damn impressive. It's a stage 5 dragon skull. But 300 coins, it's pretty good. And a dragon bone flute. I think I have another one of those running around somewhere, but but coming up next now we got sticky iron chains, dragon meal, dragon bone bow. Actually, might be able to make that. It needs wither bone, right? Yeah, and I don't think I can make that quite yet. Yep, there's my dragon flute. Uh, dragon, dragon bone bow. 
Now, how this thing does this is it's, yep, it'll pull the ingredients it has and put them here, and then you're supposed to craft it manually over here on the left. So it's not quite like, you know, applied energetics logistics with the crafting and stuff like that, but honestly, it's not terrible. And anything you don't need, you can just do that. But I don't have any wither bones, so I can't make the bow. It's a bit of a shame, because it's actually a pretty good bow, but there's better ones. Basic mob farm. Oh yeah, like I need withered bones and raw rat. Very good. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and cut here. I'm gonna finish off my my house real quick, and we'll come back and I don't know, hopefully do something interesting in the meantime. All right, so got my roof up. Not sure if I want to put an actual peak on it or not, but I kind of like how it looks. It's higher in the middle and it kind of slants off to the edges a bit. And not a really good, amazing place to look at it. Uh, yep, I screwed up, didn't I? Need like three, three of these. There and there. There we go. Now it's now it's sellable. Okay. I knew I forgot something. I was more worried about the other side because did the same thing back here, but it's a little harder to uh to take care of. Because you can't shift on trapdoors. <laughs> Found that one out a hard time a couple of times. Just boop, off the edge. That's why I'm glad I have dark boots. Even though that's all I have left at this point because of the damn cyclops, but Oh well, I will. Uh, I will work on that stuff in the future. But let's go ahead and go to the village here. I think. Oh, hi. Thank you for that last little shove as you died. Anybody else around here? Nope, but I got the quest for unknown energies. That's that's good enough, right? Uh, yeah, completely missed a village, didn't I? All right, where am I at? Okay, I just need to go straight north. I want to get some trading done. Let's see if I can. There's a horse on the roof of the pet shop. Okay, that works. Ah, come here, you. A purist. You don't trade anything for emeralds. Okay. And I'll take the rat pelt, I guess, and we'll take that. All right, let's go see if I can find some actual villagers here. A vampire hunter trainer. Not train you at your level. A hey, plague doctor. Okay. So, yeah. Now you want poppies to in order to give me those things, okay? And look at that one bone for an emerald. That's amazing. That is an amazing trade. I love you, dude. I love you so much. Don't you ever die? Uh, cake of swiftness. Sure, I'll eat that. And resilience. Ah, sure, I'll take the wool, I guess. Yeah, grab some more. All right. Ah, here's everybody. Okay, cool. Butcher. 12 rotten flesh for 2 raw rabbit. That's actually kind of, you know, kind of interesting there. Potion of healing. Leaping. Uh, potion of visibility for emeralds. It's not terrible. Raw rat for emerald. Emeralds for cheese. Emeralds for cooked rat. Uh, feathery wing for emerald. Okay. Oh, hi. You ever, oh, look at you. You're amazing. I love you. You are awesome. I need a lot of those. There we go. That's all you, you trade, though, huh? Let's get like four more stacks of those, or four more trades worth then. Or three. Three's good. I think that was all I could ever get from you, though, because you're not unlocking any further trades. Uh, Druid, what do you got here? You buy things from me. Okay. 
Medicine Man, you do the same. Oh, I can buy a flute from you. All right, yes. Get into Totemic a little bit. Um, tell you what, let's go ahead and buy another flute then. And we'll make it into a Pan's Flute. Irresistible to animals and villagers. Why, oh, thank you. Drum, sure. That actually saves me a little bit of effort to make the instruments. Wind chime is four, huh? That's uh, not the best deal, but three. And a totemic staff. Yes, I will take that. Come on. Thank you. All right. Oh, it's getting to be nighttime soon, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, well. Cooked buffalo meat. 27 red cedar for an emerald. Two for a TP. Okay, now we're pretty much done for now. Are you the same red mechanic? Uh, you are a different one, but you do the same trade. Oh, you do the wrench. Yeah, I'll take the wrench. Thank you. Now, are you going to actually unlock anything? No. No, you're not. Hi, JMK. Oh, my. There's a lot of people in here. 12 for a compass. 3 for bookshelf. That's... Actually, slightly tempting, honestly. Okay, uh, Sage. Sage, what do you got, Sage? Uh, you just want to buy stuff from me, huh? Also, Willow Wood. Holy crap, it's green. Yeah, to get everything out of here. Crystallizer. Hey, dude. Oh, yep. <laughs> Reek pop back on, but he, uh, he's trying to get the time since last death advancement. All right, Arborist. I want... Oh, dude. I want this. Proven Grafter. It's got 150 uses. Instead of, you know what, 10? And that's just wood. All right. Level up. Thank you. Dude. Stay still. Winge. Okay, yes. I will buy... I will buy a winge sapling for me because those are hard to find. Like everybody's in this house. This just... Cleric. Okay, Cleric, what do you... You buy sharp or fang teeth. Okay. Now, were you the one I did all the trading with? Yeah, you are. Okay. Is there another medicine man around here? Dude, what the heck? Get... No, that can stay put. I want that, and I want that. Thank you. Now I have some armor, at least. I feel a little bit better about things. Uh, wow. Did you ever feel like you're being watched? Also, why are you a vampire expert, huh? You want 20 vampire fangs for an emerald. Hmm. Like, why is everybody in this house? Also, that sheep's got a hat. And, yeah, you're just a thing, same as usual. I think you might be the one I actually looked at earlier. Or they're all the same. The dogs, we got bunnies. Um... Can't remember if I had melon. Actually, I do have melon, so I'm not gonna worry about that. All right. Well, they're not in here. They're not gonna miss the books. And yeah, this is what I got into in it. I. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I stole some cages from in here. Not a whole lot else going on around here, is there? Yeah, rubber tree. Chicken up here. Okay. I wondered. Lots and lots of villagers underneath me there. You can hear them shuffling around. So we have two churches, huh? 
That's the one I want right there. This got stuff up here. Ooh, gold, gold paper. I'll take all that. Beds. Oh, no piece candle. Oh, there's a lantern. Uh, I think it's like a one in three chance of them having a piece candle inside the uh, inside the churches. But it doesn't work for the vampire churches. All right, and we'll go there. So for now, I'm going to put the totemic stuff over here. Give me that wrench, I think. And we should have made progress on challenges, right? There is enchanted another. There's like a trade one, isn't there? Dragon Slayer, Inventory Pet Master, Chance Cube, Sword of the Skies, do Trade with Villagers. I'm at 4% now. I've got 21 trades out of 500. Uh, what is that? Not there. A Precious Emerald from Random Things. I've never even heard of that. But, uh, introduction. Found the thing. That got me a chance at Casahedron. And get a loot crate and 75 coins for finally getting myself blaze rods. I need a brewing stand, huh? So one of these. And we'll just do that. So our brewing stand, I'll just put that away for now. It's not something I need now, but it will come in handy later. And I got a present from the Between Lands. Place and break. And I got some more Christmas pudding. All right. And the brewing stand was Jaffa. Okay. Yeah, had that before. Kind of that it for right now, isn't it? I need a dragon egg to continue up this line. I need to make a cake for that. Hidden light. Yeah, it's not... Bad. I need glass, though, and I'm out of sand. Kitchen counter, I need to finish making the kitchen stuff. Which I'm thinking I'm going to put a kitchen right here. Right? This is going to be... Eventually, when I get applied energistics, that's going to go over here as well. There's going to be a kitchen. And I'm not sure what else is going to go, actually, up here. Probably like a bed, right? I'll move my bed inside, finally. I put it out there because I, was, I destroyed my house and rebuilt it, so... Yeah, it's kind of a thing. But since I discovered the altar after I killed the first druid, it didn't count. Obtain a hippogriff egg. After, you know, obtain the eggs after breeding two hippogriffs. Hatch them like a chicken, and a baby hippogriff will spawn. The hippogriffs can be bred by feeding them rabbit stew. Well, it looks like we're going to be making a zoo, folks. Escape rope. Hmm, that's an idea now, isn't it? Holding right click while on the cave will teleport the player back to the surface. It's expensive though. It takes a couple ender pearls. Can I make that indexer remote now? Okay, so there's a thing. There's a tiny bit of lag if you punch your first letter in. So it yeah, it's a problem. So I needed a screen for the indexer itself as well, didn't I? I think I had pretty much everything of that, huh? Oh, because I haven't put these away yet. Now, do I have my glass cutter on me? I do. Okay. So let's start off with get some of these. There's that. Green just needs that now. And one, two, stone burnt, and boom, screen. Okay. I need two of these eyes of redstone. This is what I needed enter pearls for. One and two, right? Do the same again. Oh, yeah, you're going to do that first. It's weird how it works, but I mean, it works. And then we'll just do like that, and I should spit up six smooth stone. Okay. 
Then we're going to go one, two, and there we go. Index or remote. Put the books away for now, I think. And the winch sapling. Not bound to an indexer. I have to do like shift right click it. Yeah. Shift right click on the indexer and it's just remote access to this thing. It shows the exact same stuff. But you can do that to like put things away while you're out in the field or whatnot. You can grab things out of your system from as far away as you want as long as this thing has grid power and is loaded. So I'm going to try to avoid chunk loaders because the server, I've already been abusive enough to the server so far. I don't need to be even worse to it. But that might be something I actually, actually, you know, concern myself with is, you know, making sure my grid power flows. Nothing else, angel rings are nice to have. Even though this pack, they're, they're, uh, they're a bit much, right? Basic Angel Ring takes Gold Crystals from Mechanism, Osmium Crystal, Ring of Dispersion from the Between Lands, Snow Queen Trophy from Twilight, Creative Modifier, which you can get from a few quests, or you can just simply buy for 25 grand, and Resonant Thrusters, which require Numismatic Dynamos, and of course, Constantin, all that fun stuff. But I can get rid of that, that, and that. Whoops. And so... I discovered that the Midnight's got a book, right? It's called Eternal Night. But if you look at it, it actually isn't a recipe. There's no recipe for it. These are all the patchouli books in the pack, right? All the books provided by patchouli. And it's not in here. So I, you know, hopped into Test World, cheated one in. There's nothing in the book. Absolutely hilarious. All right. Now, do I have anything like Raw Rat? No, I don't. Hmm. All right, let's get some of this stuff put away then, I think. Ah, uh, put the glob fungus away. I don't need it. And we're just going to put this guy in here, right? Oh, yes, an actual sequoia. Ooh. Giant sequoia versus uh, the coast sequoia. Did some trading in another village. Disco ball. <laughs> Watch out, pig. This could probably suck. It's Kiwi, huh? All right. Um, how lucky do I feel? Not particularly. Kiwi despawned. Okay. It's like a 50-50 shot that Kiwi sticks around. That's the whole, you know, do you feel lucky part? Yeah. Which, that's actually a bit of a downer because I think I could have actually taken Kiwi out eventually. Probably only would have died maybe twice. I had, like, no armor. But, uh, probably once actually if I was smart and grabbed some potions before I went back down there. I have some really good potions, though, do I? Hey, give me here. But, uh, let's see. Yeah, let's get that thing repairing again here. Oh, why's my axe in there? Why are you? There we go. And you're going to town. Awesome. So, but, yeah, I need to uh, probably work on actually getting some tech made up. I'm going to maybe get some automated ore processing set up. Uh, augment or uh, upgrade my sag mill to the industrial class and you know have anything you know any ores go into the sag mill process through furnaces and then come on back up here right which if i'm doing um i'm like manually retrieving items from the furnaces then i should probably use like all my midnight furnaces i made I'm going to have it completely automated, then it's, I might as well just go with, you know, like an alloy smelter or some other powered furnace. Just, you know, because I can't, hello. Uh, because I'm not going to be able to get the experience out. 
though. There's no point in setting up additional automation to, to fuel furnaces if I'm not getting any tangible benefit out of it. Also, the door factory probably should not be there. But oh, look, you repaired it. Awesome. But I'm going to go ahead and call it an episode. Uh, thank you for coming out. I hope you're enjoying the series. And until next time, sign signing out. Have fun.